Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to install XAMPP and Composer for Laravel 12 on Windows. So we are going to take uh, this step to install XAMPP as well as the Composer. The topics that we are going to cover, how to install XAMPP for Laravel 12, how to update XAMPP without losing data, how to install and configure Composer and how to check and update Composer version. In the first step we are going to install the XAMPP. First, we are going to download the XAMPP from its official website that is the apachefriends.org. I am going to open this website. Click on download. If you want to install the XAMPP for Windows, then you must go for the latest version that is the 8.2.12 for PHP 8.2. For uh, Linux, you must go for the latest version that once again PH for PHP 8.2. Okay. And for Mac operating system, once again, you are required to download the latest version. Okay, so after download, uh, we can install the XAMPP. So straight away, I'm going to download for this one, uh, the latest XAMPP. Okay, I'm going to download it. So it will take few seconds to download it. So here, I'm going to check my drives. Uh, we are going to install the XAMPP where XAMPP is not already installed. See, in my D drive, XAMPP is already installed. So I'm not going to install here. I am going to install in E drive. Here there is no XAMPP at all. So this is the fresh installation of XAMPP. If you don't have any XAMPP so far and for the new users who are not having XAMPP on their system, so they can install the XAMPP straight away. Well, I am going to click and will start its process. We will click on run. Click on yes. Click on OK. Click on Next once again. Next. And here uh, we are required to specify the drive where we want to install the XAMPP. I am going to specify the E drive as I want to install the XAMPP on E drive. And we will click on Next. I will select the language as English. Once again I will click on Next and the XAMPP will start installing. It will take few minutes to install the XAMPP. Click on allow. Zamp installation is done. We are going to click on finish and we'll run the control panel now. Here you can see Apache and MySQL. We are going to run Apache and MySQL from here. Click on allow once again for MySQL. We are going to check the version of PHP. Here you can see the PHP version is 8.2.12. So it is the latest version that is required for Laravel 12. We are going to check PHP My Admin as well. PHP My Admin is also working fine. Now we will move to our next step. We are going to update XAMPP without losing data. Firstly, we want to take the backup of all our databases. And after that, we are going to take the backup of our project files. For taking the backup of databases, we are going to run the XAMPP. First of all, we are going to run the XAMPP. Like uh, I am having the XAMPP earlier. This is the XAMPP that I am having. I am going to run this XAMPP. Then I'm going to run its PHP my admin. Here, like uh, this project is crucial for me, I'm going to take its backup. I'm going to export the file. The download has been done. So you can see the file has been downloaded. And after that, I'm going to take the backup of the files as well. 
I will go inside the Azure Docs folder and suppose uh, this is this project is crucial for me. I'm going to copy this project and uh, we'll uh, we'll move it somewhere outside the folder. I will make one more folder like projects and we'll move all the folders here from S2 Docs folder. I'm going to move all the folders outside of XAMPP folder. Okay, so after getting all the database like I have downloaded the database as well, I will also move this one to here. So after this, we will move to the next step. Next step is to uninstall all XAMPP. Now I am ready to uninstall my XAMPP. I will go inside the XAMPP folder and here you can see the uninstall.exe. I am going to run this file and will uninstall the XAMPP from my system. So it will completely uninstall my XAMPP. After that, I am going to download the latest XAMPP once again, the steps that we have taken already. Okay, I am going to download that XAMPP and install that XAMPP uh, again. And after that, uh, once the XAMPP has been installed, then I am going to move the products once again. Like uh, this is my product. I am going to move uh, this one uh, to SDocs folder inside the XAMPP, inside the new XAMPP. And also I am going to import the database and import is very easy. Here I am going to import, I will create the database first of all, the name of my project here, like any, any project like the GitHub or anything. I am going to uh, make it like that database. And after that, I'm going to import that file that I have taken the backup. Okay, like this one. I will just import it and and will import the import all the databases like this. And and folders I am going to move in the SDocs. So uh, after this, I'm going to run the project will run fine. Okay, so these are the steps that we can take uh, for upgrading the XAMPP. If we are already having the XAMPP, we can upgrade it like this. Now we are going to install the Composer. So this is the website uh, that will help us to install the Composer. We are going to open this website, getcomposer.org. So from here we are going to click on download. And here uh, for Windows, we will just simply install this file, composersetups.exe. We have a separate video for uh, installing the Composer in Mac operating system as well. So you can watch that video if uh, you are on Mac operating system. Okay. So I'm going to simply going to download this one or it, it will take few seconds and we'll run this file. Composer file will click on run. Install for all users. Click on yes. So I'm going to install in developer mode. Click on next. And I'm going to install it in my uh, e drive as in e drive. I'm going to install the composer. And here I'm going to set the path. Okay, path. Yes, I'm going to set the e drive path inside the zap, uh, inside the PHP and php.exe. Okay, I will set the path of my new zap that I have just installed and click on next. So it will take few seconds to install uh, the composer on my system on drive E where my zap is located. So we are going to click on finish. So the composer has been installed. Now in our next step, we will verify the installation of the composer. We will go to the XAMPP folder once again in eDrive, XAMPP where we have installed the composer and XAMPP control panel. We'll start Apache as well as the MySQL. And in shell, I'm going to run uh, the composer to check the composer installation. Here you can see the composer has been installed. Uh, so we can update the composer version as well uh, by running the self update command. It will update the composer to the latest version. And you can also check the composer version by running this command composer hyphen hyphen version that you can also run to check out the composer version. Here once again we will going to click on shell and here composer version and it will tell the latest version of the composer. Please subscribe the Stack Developer YouTube channel for more Laravel updates and for the Laravel 12 multi-vendor e-commerce website. So here is the website youtube.com slash stack developers. Please subscribe the channel for more Laravel updates and multi-vendor e-commerce website in Laravel 12 and also you can join to get the complete source code. Thank you so much. Have a nice time. Goodbye.